Behold, the Glacier Bay McKenna pull-down kitchen faucet in stainless steel with turbo spray. Here we have a Glacier Bay McKenna pull-down kitchen faucet featuring a pull-down sprayer hose, fast mount installation, and a drip-free ceramic disc cartridge. It has brushed stainless steel finish, comes in a single hole design, but can accommodate a three hole configuration with the included cover plate. It has two spray modes, a single full stream and a multi-spray. Glacier Bay is Home Depot's store brand, so it's at an affordable price point. It is on the lower end of kitchen faucet cost and thus sacrifices features available on higher end models. Opening the box, everything is packaged really well. This gray piece of plastic is the fast mount, which really makes the installation simple. Next, we have the faucet weight and hose clip. This is so that the pull-out faucet is allowed to retract and stay seated. Here we have the three-hole configuration cover plate. Since I will be doing an installation on a single-hole sink, this will be discarded. So then you've got three lines here. This black one here attaches to this faucet portion right here. And it is also labeled with a weight here. So that's where the weight comes in. Uh, you put this, you make sure that it is facing up so you don't forget. You snap this on and then you put the weight there. This will prevent the weight from sliding any further. So the weight is gonna be on this cable and that way this thing will be able to retract and sit snugly as it should. Now, now the other two is gonna be, one's gonna be your cold supply line and the other one's gonna be your hot supply line. And hot is usually labeled, which it is right there. Fantastic. Now, uh, the last bit, the way you uh, secure it is by using this fast mount clip. Uh, as they call it. So this will go through the top of the sink, this will come in from the bottom, and you just turn it, turn it, turn it until it is nice and snug. And that's it. So let's see it in action. Here's where the convenience of the fast mount clip comes into play. With one hand holding the two supply lines, pull down slightly, while with the other hand, push up on the fast mount clip to push it up as far as it will go. Then give it a few turns to get it nice and snug. Don't tighten it too much because we want to go back up top and check the alignment and the positioning of the faucet. Once we're happy with it, we can go back underneath and give that fast mount clip a couple more turns to make it nice and tight. Now connect the black sprayer hose. Just push together until you hear a click. Next, look for the weight marking on the black sprayer hose and push on the weight clip. Pay attention to the orientation. The up arrow should be pointing up towards the faucet. Once the clip is attached, slip on the weight. Now attach the supply lines. Cold line goes to cold, and the line marked hot attaches to hot. Take care not to tangle up the supply lines with the sprayer hose. The sprayer hose should be able to move up and down freely as you detach and use the spray head. I didn't catch it on camera, but here I took out the aerator. It's a good idea to do this to help flush out any debris that may be in the supply lines without getting it caught in the aerator and it affecting water flow. Turbo spray, normal spray, turbo spray, normal spray. 
So after three months of use, I would like to give you my thoughts. Overall, I still think this faucet is a solid choice. It looks good, has a lower price point, was easy to install, and feels solid. That being said, there are two negatives that I would like to point out. First, the clicker that changes between spray modes feels flimsy and cheap. It works, and has not failed, but it just feels low quality. Second, I wish the faucet was just a little bit taller. I find myself needing to push the faucet out of the way every time I put in a large pot in the sink to be filled. I'll add a third, but this is really nitpicking here. The side to side movement is not as smooth as a faucet on the higher end that would cost two, two and a half times the cost of this faucet. And for those of you wondering what the included Allen key is used for, well, it's for this handle. If the handle has come loose and you need to tighten it back up or you want to take it off for some reason, then you can do so using the included Allen key. Just push the lever all the way back and you'll see at the bottom that there is an access hole right there that you can use to uh, tighten it back up. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.